All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well in this truth and teach the scriptures faith faithfully to the nation of Israel, the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American, and scatter confusion of face. And I want to say uh, salutations and blessings to all you Akiyam, uh, preaching and teaching this verse sincerely and truthfully uh, throughout the four corners. And same for uh, the righteous one third remnant of Yasharala. Uh, also marked for deliverance from this coming destruction, man. Uh, so called uh, inauguration day here in the uh, virgin daughter of Babylon. All right. Um, and uh, some of you brothers, if you've, never, if you've never gone into the word auger, uh, you need to go into that word, man, because uh, the inauguration, man, uh, this so-called uh, inauguration goes back to uh, the pagan Roman Empire, man. Look up the word auger, and uh, basically that was a diviner who uh, foretold uh, future events, you know, following uh, the flight patterns of the birds, man. But it's all spiritual because uh, um, this country that we're in, man, this uh, dry and barren land we're in, stuck in right now, is uh the roman um empire reincarnated man so uh <laughs> just wanted to come on and um talk about the uh israelite foreigners um through the spirit um a couple of days ago I, I let the ox in our camp know that since it's my turn to speak this weekend at camp i was already going to go into the israelite foreigner uh, uh topic that was going to be one of my topics um for camp and then uh a couple days ago, man, on the Shabbat, I watched this video that Men of Valor uploaded, Men of Valor 12 uploaded, of a confusion of face down in Miami. And the spirit jumped on me to uh, talk about that video briefly. Well, that brother up in New Jersey, uh, you know, sent me a message on the comment boards and uh, asked me to uh, to do a video on Israelite foreigners. Um, so this is for edification, man, because. Uh, like I said in the last my last video, um, we're in the times of the end, man. We're we're in the times of uh, the, the scattered Israelites, um, the dispersed of the of both houses of Israel, the, the northern and southern kingdoms, coming out of their slumber, man. Waking up, man, because we're at the end, as it was prophesied going to be that way, all right. And what you're seeing is a, a, a worldwide phenomenon now, man, where you've got brothers in eastern the parts parts of eastern Africa uh, coming out. Uh, coming out of their slumber, you got brothers in Thailand, Philippines, Australia, and, and I can go on, you know, in different parts of this earth that are waking up to the fact that they're Israelites and they are calling on the name, the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, and they're coming back into this, in, into this fold, and they're picking up these scriptures, man, and they're going into these scriptures and they're breaking them down and they're preaching and teaching and prophesying, man, so. That's that's one of the signs of the end, man. When uh, when this gospel is preached, um, into, into all the nations, man, the, the Bible says then the end's gonna come. Okay, so we're we're at we're at the last second, so to speak. But I want to go into uh, the first scripture. I want to go into is out of the prophet uh, Isaiah. All right, and, then, and again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, from the jump that these scriptures that I'm getting ready to go into, man, these are milk scriptures. They brought out a lot. But um, again, this is for edification, all right? Uh, Isaiah, in the 11th chapter and the 10th verse, reads, And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And that root of Jesse we know to be um, the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly refers to as Jesus Christ. He is the banner of that's being hoisted right now. He is the, the standard that's being raised in this earth right now. And the Gentiles are turning to. Who are the Gentiles? The Israelites that are scattered in the in the in these heathen in these heathen lands, man. And they're gonna look like all different nations, man. Alright? They're gonna be uh I'm not gonna spend too too much time. You know you already know. They're gonna be Israelites that look like Moabites, Ammonites. Edomites, Cushites, and so on and so forth. All right, that's just how it's going to be, man. And um, if you can't get this prophecy, if you can't get these scriptures, then there's two things. There's two possible explanations. Number one, you're a heathen yourself, or number two, you're a two-thirds destined for destruction, man. 
and the Most High is not working with you. He's not supping with you. All right. Verse 11, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam. All right, Elam being what we know today as India, the so-called East Indians. All right, and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Right, Judah's scattered into the four corners of this earth, man. You got Judites that look like the heathen nations, man. All right, this is simple. And for you Christians out there, for you Christian uh, Israelites out there, man, I don't see anything in this end times prophecy regarding the other nations, man. You say, well, the word Gentile. That word Gentile is not talking about um, the, uh, the, uh, the other nations. That word Gentile is talking about an Israelite who was uh, living by the ways of the Greeks, the Romans, or whatever land that he was in. All right? They were acting like Gentiles. All right? They were, they were carried away uh, to dumb idols. You know? That's what made him a, 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 a Gentile. But by lineage, by blood, they're Israel. All right. It says, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, okay. Let me stop at that scripture. And then let's go into, um, so that's it on that one. Let's go to Acts. All right. Acts 2. All right. Acts chapter 2. And verse number five. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. They were there for the, the feast, man. They were celebrating the feast, keeping the feast days. Okay. And it says, um, out of every nation under heaven, that because you were you you had to come to Jerusalem to observe these feast days. So you had, <coughs> you know, Jews, man, Judah, all right, coming in. All right. It says. Um, Verse 6, now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? So they were, they were, they were hearing uh, this sermon at the Feast of Pentecost, in their own language, man, and that—that's what tongue speaking is all about, man. It's not that jibber jabber you hear these these false prophets on um, the Total Blasphemy Network doing, where they're just not making any sense and they're just muttering like uh, like heathens. No, uh, the your mother tongue, for example, our mother tongue here uh, in this dispensation of time is English, man. That'd be my mother tongue. So if I was at Pentecost on that day, and I just happened to be scattered into uh, one of these other parts of the world, like let's say, let's just say Rome or Arabia, okay? I was speaking a different tongue, but they were hearing, the, the miracle here was these men were hearing this gospel pushed in their own language, man. So that what? So that these Israelites who were scattered into these foreign lands could come back into the fold, man. Yahweh came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, okay? And Israel scattered into the four corners, all right? It says, uh, and then it goes uh, and down into verses uh, 9 and 10 to talk about the different parts of the world. You know, like, uh, I'll, I'll just read it. It says, uh, verse 9, Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia and Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia and Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of the Most High. Right. They were hearing this, this message, man. They were hearing this, this gospel being preached, man. And the Most High made it to where they could understand it in their own language, man. All right. That's what tongue speaking is, all right. All right. And then I'm going to go down to, um, I'm going to skip down to 21. It says, um, verse 21, And it shall come to pass that whosoever 
shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right, the name of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushah. You got to call on that name in these last days, man, if you're an Israelite, to be saved. All right, that's the name you have to hearken to. That, or that's the name you have to uh, cry aloud to, man. That's you got to. That, that's what we tell uh, Jake every week at camp. All right, you got to call on that name, man. You can't be uh, fucking around with Yahushua, or Yahushua, or Yeshua, or Jesus, or uh, uh, whatever other name under the sun that you're you calling on, man. In order to be saved, you got to go to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. It says uh, verse 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. All right. Proving once again that this sermon, that this this preaching that's being done right here, is for the men of Israel, man, so that they can so that they can be saved. All right. All right. So as as Donald Trump is being inaugurated right now, you know, and you know he's set up by uh, the Roman. Hopefully, Lord willing, Yahabashim Yahashah Ratzat. This is the last Roman augur that's going to hold an office. And the virgin daughter of Babylon. Hopefully, this place is fucking destroyed soon, man. All right, and it's gonna be, but uh, it uh, it says, Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know. All right, verse thirty-nine, or slot verse thirty-six, Acts two and thirty-six. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that the Most High hath made the same Yahweh Shah whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Hamashiach. All right. Once again, proven that this sermon is for the house of Israel, man. Not, not the other nations. It's not for the other nations. All right. And again, to be repetitive, because Jake has to hear things over and over again, because we're, st we're, st we're stubborn. We're hard-headed. All right. We're the most hard-headed people on the planet Earth. All right. Um, you got to, you got to. And be repetitive with this thing, all right? It's for the house of Israel, man. The whole house of Israel, both kingdoms, northern and southern, all right? Verse 39 For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our power shall call, all right? That's what's happening, man. The Lord our power is calling. Primarily right now in this dispensation through the internet, man. Really through through uh, brothers, man, uploading um, videos, man, bringing out this truth. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna stay in the book of Acts and go to uh, Acts 11. All right. Acts 11 and 15. And and as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them as on us at the beginning. Then remembered I the word of the Lord, know that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. For as much then as the Most High gave them the light gift as he did unto us, who believed on the Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, what was I that I could withstand the Most High? When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified the Most High, saying, Then hath the Most High also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life. All right, the the uh, heathen nations cannot be granted repentance unto life, man. All right, it's only for the nation of Israel. No other nation can be granted repentance unto life. All right, once again, proven that this gospel and this message and these words are for Israelites only. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, if you're a heathen. I mean, you can read it. You're just not going to know how to break it down. You're not going to know how to interpret it. You know, it's like 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 liking it to like you you know. <clears throat> you grow up in the United States of America and you speak English, but you're trying to read um, a manual. Uh, you know, like maybe like a car manual in uh, Mandarin Chinese. Good luck with that. All right. Um, verse number. Um, 19. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they were come to Antioch spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Yahweh Shai. 
And that word for Grecians right there is Hellenized Jew, man. All right? Those weren't regular Grecians. Those weren't Edomites. Those weren't so-called white people. Those weren't crackers, man. Those were, uh, 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 the Grecians were, uh, you look that word up in Acts 11. That goes back to uh, the Hellenists, man. Greek-speaking Jews, Hellenized Jews. All right? It says, um, And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. And that's what's happening right now, man. People are waking up globally and turning back to uh, their power, turning back to, to the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's what's going on right now, man. And, and like I said earlier, you know, that's a beautiful thing, you know. It's beautiful to see other, uh, uh, you know, it's beautiful to see the scattered confusion of face uh, waking up to, to, to uh, their heritage and coming back to their Savior. It doesn't get, you know, I mean, while we're in this hellhole right now, it doesn't get any better than that. To watch someone who, who comes into the truth is a beautiful thing. Man. And it's a marvelous work being done throughout the earth right now. All right. Um, and I'll just go ahead and, and, and end it right there. And uh, hopefully you, you received edification from this. And again, um, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Shah, saying Shalom.